let's bring in a senior Republican who focuses very closely on financial issues, Senator Richard Shelby of Alabama. He is the top Republican on the Banking Committee. Welcome here to In Business, Senator. Uh, Thank can you, you give Margaret. me a sense? Uh, will you be voting for this debt deal today? Will you be voting uh, yes? Absolutely not, uh, Margaret. I'm going to vote no on this. I have uh, examined the uh, proposal. I have uh, thought about it. And although it might be a step, some people say, in the right direction, it's wanting in a lot of areas. For example, even if everything goes through, it's, which I doubt, but if it did, we would still grow the debt by $8 trillion more in this 10-year period. Uh, that's unacceptable to the American people. It's not a way to handle our finances. Uh, I know politics is involved up here in a big, big way. It's Washington. But uh, sooner or later, we're going to have to get above politics. Uh, but we do know the president is expected to speak shortly. The assumption is uh, that despite your opposition, that, that the bill will pass through the Senate. Is that a safe assumption or is that in question? I, I I've been hearing that, uh, uh, that between the Republicans and the Democrats, they've got enough votes to pass this, uh, whether well, they've got to have 60. Uh, I, I don't know. I will not be with, with, with that uh, uh, group that are voting for it. Uh, if we mm -hmm. had done more cuts uh, and if we were more specific, but I've seen this movie before here in Washington where a lot of things are going to be in the out years, down the road, in the future. It's going to be up to a bipartisan uh, uh, committee. Right. Uh, we don't know how that committee is going to be designed, uh, who's going to be on it, and it could be a stalemate. Well, if this does indeed become law, um, some of those decisions, the one and a half trillion dollars that the super committee is going to have to find uh, is going to be a big part of uh, what little reduction is made. So who should be sitting on that committee? Who would you like to see there? Well, I, would, uh, I will not uh, be consulted on that. Uh, the leaders, uh, Harry Reid on, our, on the Democratic side and Mitch McConnell on our side, they will make those decisions. And I hope that uh, they think them out and that those uh, are people that, one, could put America first way above politics, either party. Uh, well, the White House ha has said that if this super committee um, comes up with an agreement, they're, they're charged with coming up with a balance, so, you know, revenue increase and more reductions. If they can't do that, the threat is there that the, the White House would do away with the Bush era tax policy. Um, do you believe that that threat is a real one? Well, it's always a real one with the Democrats. The Democrats basically are looking for revenue and we're looking for cuts. You will never have enough money, you'll never have enough revenue by taxing to fund all of this. We've got to be honest with ourselves, be honest with the American people, get into a conversation where we're telling them the truth of where we are. And the truth is uh, that we have a financial time bomb here that's not going to go away. Mm -hmm. It's not going to go away after this uh, bill is passed today. It gives a little more time, but it also adds more debt on the American people. Uh, well, the, the White House has said that some of those uh, conversations that were had with Speaker Boehner about um, changes on how corporate taxes are, are uh, corporate jets are taxed, carried interest, um, some of the loophole holes for oil and gas companies, those are back on the table uh, as potential sources for revenue increases. Uh, well, what prospect do you think uh, that that has? I have been an advocate of. Uh, income tax reform for a long time. I would like to see us lower the individual's rates, knock out all loopholes, uh, all these uh, deals that people have lobbied for over the years. Our tax code is full of danger, but to just look for revenue without cuts is a horrible mistake. It won't work and we will not support it. I hope no Republican would support that. Uh, Senator, uh, thank you for making time for us today. Thank you, Margaret. On the record, they're voting voting against this debt deal.